we're going to practice solving a question using a tape diagram when we don't know the number of groups. Let's look at our problem. A vet gives the dogs in her office four bones each. She used 24 bones. How many dogs got bones? Well, let's look. First, I'm seeing if we know the total. Well, it looks and it says that she used 24 bones. Okay, that's the total. And then the other number is a vet gives the dogs in her office four bones each. That's the size of the group. So in this problem, I don't know the number of groups. If I was gonna make a tape diagram to solve this problem, here's what I would do. First, I would draw one unit. I know that each dog got four bones. So that equals four bones. I also know that my total is 24 bones. So I'm just kind of going to guess how long that's going to be and write 24 bones. My unknown is the number of groups. I don't know how many dogs there were at the beginning of the question. Now I'm going to keep on drawing units until I get to my total 24. So I'm at four, eight, 12, 16, think about if I need to keep on going. Yes. 20, do I need to keep on going? Yes, because I haven't gotten my total yet. 24, do I need to keep on going? No, because I got to my total. Now I need to make a number sentence to go with my question. So because I knew the total and the size of the groups, but not the number of groups, this is a division problem. So I start with my total 24 divided by the other number I knew, the size of the groups, four equals how many groups? Let's see, I drew one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, six groups. Last is my word sentence. My question again said, how many dogs got bones? So I can write, just using these words, six dogs got bones. If I've done all the parts of my problem, I'm going to have all the parts of my tape diagram labeled, my number sentence, and my word sentence. Make sure you're adding all those parts when you try at home.